Hello. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy World. We are doing a very quick recipe today. I say we, I, I found the recipe. You did. You're doing it. I am. Yeah. Okay, we are going to do uh, what well, is a bit of a luxury recipe, it really is. Yeah. We are doing crab linguine, but it's very easy, very quick to do. But crab isn't the cheapest fish. No, and you need the white meat, which is, which more, is expensive. the more expensive bit. Um, so I went and bought two pots of crab yesterday and it's about 20 quid. Yeah. yeah, so it's not something that you're going to have regularly, but it is something that is easy and delicious and light for the summer yeah. and good for a treat. A absolutely, and we're probably using about a pot and a bit yeah. today, so there's enough for a lovely crab sandwich tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Okay, so that's your white crab meat. We're just using fresh white crab meat. Yeah. Uh, I believe when I went to the, I got it from the fishmongers yesterday in New Lynn, uh, I was offered, uh, I think they call it pasteurised. They pasteurised it, but it's slightly longer life. Right. But um, she said, so go for the fresh. So well, that's what we're here for. We, we live by the sea, we have the fresh. Get, get the best you can get, okay? Now. So. What do we do, love? To start off with, you get some extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. And you put a good glug. Yeah, we'll, we'll put glug. measurements below, but basically it's a sizable glug. We've put the linguine on already. Yeah, that's cooking. Cook it to your own liking. They'll say cook it to the packet, whatever you suits you. You like yours a bit softer than me, so we'll cook it to the packet and pop the pot in a few minutes. So it's, your, it's your dish. We need to get some heat going in our pan and then we are going to fry or yeah. well very gently warm fry. Yeah. Cook up. a garlic clove. A garlic clove. Now you can chop it finely but we have um squished it. We crushed it didn't we? We're gonna yeah, crush we it. Did. Now, so there's very few ingredients in this. Really, it's garlic, it's white crab meat, it's some lemon juice, some parsley. For the top. Uh, you can add some chilli flakes if you want, but we're not because you don't do heat. No. Again, that would be to your own personal taste. Fresh uh, and tomato. some fresh tomatoes. We've got this recipe from a Rick Stein website, and um, Jack Stein did a recipe of it as well. We're just doing it our own way. Absolutely. Uh, you, although you're going to cook your garlic, you don't want any colour on it. You're just softening it, okay? Yeah. So just be a bit careful with it because if you do start colouring it, if you go too far with it, then you will end up with a bitter garlic. Which and that's want. the last thing you want after you just spent so, a load of money on your garlic. Whilst that's warming through, these are your tomatoes. We've got three vine tomatoes which have been seeded, they've been skinned and they've been finely chopped. Yes. So how do you uh, skin a tomato, love? So, to skin a tomato, you put a little cross in its bottom. Okay. And then you put it into a bowl with boiling water at the kettle. Okay. And literally, minute, two minutes at the most, and you'll see that the skin will start splitting all the way around and peeling away from the tiny cut that you made. You take them out, you put them into cold water to stop them cooking, if you like. And then the skins peel off really easily. Yeah, you find also the uh, the riper the tomato the quicker they kind of absolutely go. Right, so this garlic like is done. Lovely. So in goes the tomato. Yep, this is a really light dish. No cream, no heavy stuff in this. It's all about the pure taste of the crab. I found out that one of our players on our golf channel is a pescatarian this week. Yeah, that was a shock. You so like um, this, Neil Walker. This is for you, mate. So apparently we are supposed to um, season this often. Yeah, so we're well, put a little bit of most salt chefs in. would season as you go because every time you put something in, the, the taste may change. We're not chefs. We're definitely yeah. not chefs. It literally is a throw it all in thing. There's very little to this, but it's going to be delicious. Don't, when you, I find when you get fish, don't mess it around with lots of strong flavours. No, just, just that's works. a bit why I've just left the chilli out because I. Like, it will take my taste buds away, if okay. that makes sense. Yep. Okay. Yep. All done, that. I yep. think that's ready. So in goes the crab meat, because we're just warming that through. Yep. Could you possibly drain that pasta for me, John? I can do that. Yep. Um, you can leave it there a second. I don't know if you want to get a close-up of what the crab looks like with the tomatoes. Oh, I'm multitasking, though. I know. I've got to find a phone now as well. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Having smart look ready. Yep. Yeah. Bring your pasta over. Drop your pasta in. Eat 
in goes the pasta mix it around a bit now obviously you're not going to be able to combine this properly because what well, it's pasta and it just never There's not a lot to, to combine it's uh, the, the thing is we've got decent quality pasta and that's that's the key you, you find even with like spag bol and stuff you don't really have to have loads and loads of sauce it's about the pasta absolutely same with this what i mean is that you can't really get it all the way through you're going to get okay. lumps yeah there's going to be lumps so when you serve it up you're going to do that right. as well so lemon please uh, about, about half a lemon yeah we just want some lemon juice on it perfect okay yeah give it another little stir around and that is literally it We're going to pot the parsley in now or are you going to put it on We're going to put it on once we've got it in a dish. Okay. So, apparently you're supposed to give it a twist and then it looks pretty in your dish. Well, it gives it a bit of a bed. A bit of a smooth base. There we go. Lovely. Now, we've got enough here for about up to four people on the measurement. Yeah. So, there's plenty for us. The idea is now you obviously find some of the crab. Pop some on top. I'll move that down so people can actually see that. I just made a mess. Oh well, it's a fishy mess. What we do. There we go. And a little bit of parsley. And, and that well done. is dinner for tonight. Good, we're gonna go and eat this. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. It's very quick. I'll put so put the ingredients down below. Yep. Give it a try. Fantastic luxury quality taste that's all you need to worry about on Absolutely. this one thanks so much for watching everybody please subscribe we're going bye, bye. bye.